Hi guys, Doc, DocDetecting.com. Here I am, got my mask on. Uh, I'm not wearing it today because of the virus, but I have been wearing it when I go out to the supermarket if I have to. But there's so much pollen in the air, my allergies are really kicking up. Okay, so I just wanted to cover real quickly how to put the uh, swing assist guide arm on. And uh, you'll see this is uh, uh, fairly simple. It'll take you a little doing the very first time you want to get it on. With a round rod or a rod that's, uh, you know, not extremely large or weird configure, uh, weird configuration, configure, weird configuration. What you're going to want to do is you want to take your strap and you on the side that has the two slits and the little gripper, okay, where the hole, this uh, goes in the holes. This side has one. You're going to start off here and you're going to put that right through that top slot. Now. With these kind of round rods, you can put it directly on there, go over the go over the rod, okay, go through the single slot, okay, tension it up where you need it. So let's assume this is what we're talking about right here. All right, then you're going to come over this side and go through that double slot that's left, and then you're going to pull it through. And of course, tension it where you need it and put it over the, uh, the little grip right there that'll hold the strap. Now, with weirder rods, or like when you get up here where this is a, this is a, a, a diamond shaped up here, uh, where you want to put your little uh, rod clip to hold your rod when it's not in use, I found that what you want to do with a weird rod is go ahead and Put this through the top slot here run it straight over to the single okay then come over and come back through this way okay and then put it on your on your little tensioning uh, clip there but this way this th thing conforms to the rod because you've got a rubber strap on the bottom and you got rubber strap on the top so even if it's diamond shaped it's going to fit well uh, like i said it's going to take a little effort because this uh this strap is it's tough so you're not gonna you're gonna have to stretch it a little and uh, but once you get it on you don't have to do it again so but here you go you see here now I've just gone through the first slot okay and then I've gone over the rod because this is a round rod so it'll fit easily and then you go through your single slot then back over, so you've actually got a double layer of rubber right here, and now I'm ready to tension it up. And you just have to, you have to work with this a little, and start like down here. Get it tight enough. I said, fortunately you only have to do this once. So there, so now it's tight there. Now I can work it through over here. The problem with this is, is all the tension you're putting on here is actually putting tension on the, the rubber uh, strap as well. So it makes it, each time you get it tougher, tighter. So if you pull it away a little like this, you find out you'll have a much easier time getting it on. Okay, so there you go. So now it's nice and tight. I'm also going to give you, I don't know if you'll need them or not, but I'm going to give you uh, those double-sided 3M foam adhesive tape. So you can put it under here and under the strap so it'll lock it right onto this thing. So, But it's not moving. You know, it's it's on there pretty darn, darn good. Okay, so let's go ahead and put this on. Like I said, this one I'm going to do different. I'm not going to take it like I did on the round rod and just put it flat on and come over. I'm gonna run it through that single slit first because this is a weirder shaped rod up here. See how strange it, that is to fit? And I actually think I may put it maybe up in here. Let's see what happens if we try to do that. All right, so. Leave yourself a little room to work. And just 
strap through there. I might want to open this Velcro up. Right. Okay, so even you can see, I'll show you once, once I get them on here, but um, you can see how this works. Even with this really weird shaped upper portion here, okay, that thing fits and it's tight. It's nice and solid. It's not going to go anywhere. So, put my cover back over it. All right. And there you go. Now, uh, next thing you do is take your rod that's supplied. We don't trim it. You can trim it for yourself. Stick it in there. Just push it in. Put the little button in. And snap that in. And you're ready to go. So, that's it. I mean, it's a, it's a pretty neat looking little rig. And this is, when you're not using it, you got a place to put it where it's out of the way. So let me turn the camera around a little and I'll let you see me swinging it and uh, adjust this a little. There we go. Of course, I'm in my driveway. I don't think I'm going to find any gold here. And if I did, I'd have to dig up the bricks. But, okay, so there you are. This is great. And I like to keep my rod a little bit longer. That way, when you're going up a hill and you have to lift, if you want to not have to lift only with this hand, this under your forearm gives you leverage to lift this. I mean, look, I'm, I'm not, I'm not uh, using this hand at all to lift. So this gives you this up and down movement, which is the typical movement that breaks most swing arms because they don't have any way to pivot here. They give you a little play, but you can still store this over here. I do that a lot just out of convenience instead of putting it in the clip when I'm digging a hole. But the rest of the time, you have perfect control. And this thing is really, really made well. When we redesigned it, I mean, it's just, and it gives you, it gives you the ability to, you know, if you're wanting to come up a, the side of an embankment, you can do it, you know, you can, you can bend this thing and it's not going to break because it's got that swiveling action. So there you go. This is really, really very comfortable and very sturdy, unlike that first attempt we had. So there you go. Saga. Swing assist guide arm. Trial number two. I think we got a winner. Take care, guys. Back to Teching.com. Wear your mask. Wear your gloves. Let's stop this crap. I'm tired of it.